You have the entertainment industry today, which was back in the day, the movie industry, the Hollywood of the time, the MTV of the time, the, the entire genre of entertainment of the time was poets. You want to go watch a movie 2,000 years ago? You go nighttime, there's a fire in the middle of the desert, one guy is spitting some rhymes, telling a story, and you're imagining it happening. That's your movie. Okay? You want to go to a concert? Same thing. These guys are your movie industry, they're your music industry, and they were also your philosophers. They were also the philosophy professors at the university, all three of these. But I'll get to the philosophy part at the end. Now for these poets, let's, come, let's forget about poets of that time, let's think about entertainers, entertainers of our time. They have movies, they have concerts, they have songs, videos, music videos, all this stuff, right? So you have this artist and she comes out with a song and people are watching the YouTube video, people are downloading the MP3, people are listening to it, they're sharing it, they're going crazy over it, it's the song's winning awards and all this kind of stuff. How long does the craze last? How long does a song last? It's okay, you can tell me, I understand. <laughs> huh? A year? Do people listen to the same song for a year? Six months? Three months? Maybe six weeks? I'd say about six weeks. People are crazy. After a while, you hear the same song that you've been listening to for three months, and what do you say to someone who's playing? Can you turn that off? God, I'm tired of it. Enough already. You understand? Like when Frozen came out? <laughs> let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? A time comes where first you're crazy about it and everybody's loving it and eventually you just get so agitated by it, you don't want to hear it anymore. I'm tired of it. Why? Because in the world of entertainment, the audience always wants something what? New. You get tired of it and you want to move on. Now the thing is with artists, with actors and singers and entertainers, their entire life revolves around them being appreciated. So when people love the song, they're on a high. But when people hate the song, they say, I need to come up with something else. I feel worthless again. I don't care about the money. I don't care about the awards. I just care about my audience hating me now. I need to get back in their attention again. So I have to write another song. I have to perform another song. So, the, you know, she makes another song, the guy comes up with another song, and people say, ah, you know. The first one was good, this one, I don't know. The original movie was pretty good, the sequel, I, you know, it's kind of bogus. Does it happen? Now this artist is even more desperate, like, oh. I tried to get their attention again, but I failed. I need to try something different. Because they say, I keep doing the same thing over and over again, I have to come up with something different. I have to venture into a new valley. You see where I'm going with this? I have to venture into a new valley. Oh, maybe if I do something really crazy, I'll get attention again. Maybe if I got arrested. Maybe if I did a drug overdose. Maybe if I shaved my head. You know? Maybe if I did this, or, or maybe if I did something so shameless, so scandalous, so disgusting, that even if I, they won't mention me at the award ceremony, at least they will mention me in the tabloids. At least they'll talk about me on Facebook. At least I'll get some attention. Does that cycle happen with artists? Yeah. First they're at the top of the world. Then they, they start losing it. Then the drugs and the arrests and the craziness. And then eventually some disgusting image of them comes out. You know, they reinvent themselves. And every time they reinvent themselves, they get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. They keep lowering themselves and lowering themselves and lowering themselves. And just when you think they won't venture into another valley, here's another one. Here's another one. And here's another one. Allah says, didn't you see that they venture off into any valley? When people stop listening to their poetry back in the day, they come up with disgusting poetry. They write dirty poetry, 
they lose their decency because they, they, they think maybe that'll sell better. Let's just lower our standards. And as a result, you know what happens? The standards of an entire society lower. So if you look at singing and song and music and movies and plays from 50 years ago, then you look at them from 40 years ago, then you look at them from 30 years ago, then you go to 20 years and 10 years, and now you will find a, a necessary deterioration in language, in decency, in appropriateness, in shamelessness. There's going to be a, a progression. You'll notice it. You'll see it. It's across cultures. Across cultures. When you have the entertainment industry, it needs to keep reinventing itself. And it, over time, the standards don't go up. The, over time, the standards go down until they can't get any lower. Until they just can't get any lower. You know?